everybody and welcome back to my channel for another pony fun field weekend in the sunshine it's finally starting to buck its ideas up and yeah ponies have stayed out last night so i have enjoyed a very nice lion there is going to be two vlogs from this weekend because we have actually got things planned today and tomorrow so busy busy but thankfully an awful lot less traveling than last weekend so we're basically doing our own one day event but over the course of two days at two different venues so today is dressage and show jumping we are doing the combined training that is being run by our riding club over at a local venue at chiverton park so prelim dressage test 80 show jumping and then i've also entered to do the 90 show jumping as well just it's on grass and i think it will be really good for experience um, to do that and obviously because I know that we haven't got cross country today I just thought actually doing that next step up in the show jumping which I know she's more than capable I think would be good and if there is any silly business spookiness I don't think there's going to be last week she was good as gold so I am thinking she's going to be exactly the same this weekend but just in case we can get back into the arena um but like i say they have been out which allowed me to sleep in actually hit my sleep goal i've done a spot of yoga this morning and now time to get all ready i'm not on until four minutes past two which is very nice um a bit of construction work is going on behind me so apologies for the noise and thinking that it's probably best i don't bring the ponies in for a second <laughs> um apparently it's quick post creep Thing, so it'll only take like 20 minutes to set and then dad's will be finished so i'm gonna leave them just carry on grazing i'm gonna get the car loaded up obviously it's dressage so i need to get platting again um it's funny isn't it you go almost like the whole of winter not platting and then two weekends doing it in a row and obviously event season's here so it'll be quite often are you sunbathing millie hey are you sunbathing oh it's nice here isn't it not, that wind has died down. Actually, the ponies are probably quite hot in their rugs, but they'll be alright for another few minutes, won't they? Oh, hello. Jealous spaniel now. Right, let's get the car loaded. I think Mum and Chris are coming. Um, when it's local, I have loads of people want to come. Um, but uh, yeah, Chiverton Park is, what, 20 minutes? Half an hour away from us, which is so much nicer than the hours we spent travelling. Obviously, I loved last weekend. Um, it was brilliant and not complaining at all because it was a very fabulous day and worth the travelling. But, it, yeah, this weekend I haven't got any early, ridiculously early starts or any ridiculously late nights, so that is nice. But, right, let's get what we need. The dressage is on surface, which I think is nice, and then the show jumping is on grass, so I do need to remember to take studs. But let's get that stuff loaded whilst that's uh, setting. Just on a loop around my car. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, hello, Addy. Come and say hi. Yeah, you hot. I bet you are. Coming in in a minute. She's in, we're just having a quick group. How, I've just done this on the other side. How satisfying is this? I'm glad not my sister. Look at all the horses. I'm a goat coming through. The other side is almost like, what? Oh, you're such a baby. <laughs> Look at him. Whee. Oh, we're almost there, but still. And it's funny because she's going like the graded like here I'm trying to get it out it'll come out in the next couple of weeks i reckon but yeah giving her a good groom get all the mud off and good for our exclusive brushes oh, it's like patrified isn't it <laughs> first thing is that you go over with the rubber curry cone Set. 
Right, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I haven't vlogged much because time just seems seem to have uh, disappeared, literally. So she is all plaited up. Oh, sorry, did I make you jump? Have you pulled one out? No. You are all plaited, aren't you? Not the best, but hey ho, the tail is done. That's looking. I'm quite proud of that today. Um, car is loaded. I've just printed my number and now to hitch up it is about 13 minutes past and i wanted to leave at quarter past so yeah kind of pop camera down picking chris up on the way mum is driving out separately and um, i'm just trying to and drink my coffee as well um i'm yeah we'll get on get on the road it's not like it's very far away but just feel like time has just disappeared. I think I was uh, enjoying the sunshine, get my pony. She was enjoying it. She was enjoying the pamper. And uh, yet yeah, I've just like disappeared. Oh, I can relax a little bit now. I wanted to be here for like quarter two and I did allow extra time for traveling. Like, like I say, it only takes about 20 minutes, but I allowed half an hour and we are here now on the time. The 10 minutes that I had spent longer at home, we have now got here in time. So yeah. Oh, Andy, what have you done to that plant? in there <laughs> that's not the greatest we're not looking bad you're just having a little picnic aren't you on the lush grass and then i'll slowly get myself ready and then tuck you up and be time to go so i'm on it four minutes past oh siri now thinks i'm talking to it i'm not talking to you um and it's currently now 10 to t 10 to 1 and i'm on it four minutes past two it is warm i don't think it, she's going to take an awful a lot of time to warm up because of it being a bit warmer um we are also on a surface we ran through the test on thursday um and i've just been going through it as i've been driving out thankfully i do remember it. i was missing my first, uh, second center line but that's i know now i was thinking i'm not on the right cantering on the left i was cantering on the right and i was like this isn't right um but all good i missed my center second center line so that's okay got that back in my head the aim of today last week in our test she was lovely and relaxed and chilled and i yeah to be honest i was over the moon with our test last week and i'm very much hoping she's going to be the same today the judge just wrote in the comments that she wasn't quite supple enough through her back so i want to make sure in my warm-up is i'm going to go in and try and do a lot of long and low um i was finding on thursday that she wasn't wanting to be supple to my left leg so just going to go in there and try and work on that to begin with and just try and get her as supple as i possibly can and then hopefully that will improve the test in that aspect but if she goes in and as chilled as she was last week i will be over the moon you're just eating some grass aren't you <laughs> you can't keep moving you at it all of you you have got haylage as well but yeah that's the aim of our dressage test and then it'll be quickly come back up pop some studs in because the grass we're jumping on grass for the show jumping um i was going to think whether i put them in now but she's not gonna have boots on for dressage or anything like that and i don't want to just accidentally risk anything happening so we are all good right let's get my self changed it is a lovely turnout out here it's very busy oh hello nala you okay puppy right yep yeah, i'm done thanks very much <laughs> and number one support has come along i love <laughs> i've got a little job for you to do if possible please come to support not do jobs <laughs> Yeah. Need number three.
test that we are about to ride is the British Riding Club's Prelim Test D4. Again, just taking my time before actually entering the arena. I think I went to go down the centre line and she just didn't quite feel ready for it. And I was like, oh, no, we're not ready. So just did another circle before entering. Again, we need to work a little bit on our centre lines, but she is in a lovely frame and rhythm quite a forward rhythm but I have found that that is better for Addy at the moment at the stage that she is at with her dressage and we scored a six and a half. We then went on to B to do a 20 meter circle. Now here I would like her just to bend a little bit more, be a little bit more supple around my inside leg but again the rhythm, the shape, the accuracy of the circle I thought was good and we scored a seven. We then got to do three to five steps, three three and a half I'd say that was um, of walk again scoring another seven now we've come down the centre line again and the judges just underlined the quality of the turn and yeah I agree I think both turns actually the turn onto the centre line and the turn at sea wasn't great so we just lost half a mark there and scored a six and a half coming to do the same on the other rain she I feel like she's being a little bit more supple this way which as I probably mentioned before, left rain is our better rain. And we scored a seven and a half for that circle. She's starting to settle into the test, I think. Again, two, three, four, and yeah, nice steps there in the walk, scoring another seven. And then we go on to a 20 meter circle and picking up canter. Now I'm quite pleased because we have got canter on the left first. I always prefer it that way round at the moment. And a little bit of a head flick into the canter but not horrendous and she's in a nice frame there in the canter as well we're cantering all the way down the long side to see where we pick up another 20 meter circle so we have consistently scored sevens and then here just preparing for the downwards transition to trot which she does nicely actually yeah a little bit unbalanced but nothing much she doesn't flick her head or anything like that and then it's very quickly into walk where we then do a free walk on a long rein and this is where Addie scored her best mark of the test and we scored an eight she really she did stretch down and didn't like wasn't up and down with her head she's got a lovely over track and that was actually double mark so go Addie well done <laughs> proud mum um and then around here we transition into medium walk before the next corner we then pick up trot and here she did just go a little bit yeah fighting against my hand it wasn't a very nice upward transition and we rapidly went down to a six and a half we then go on to another 20 meter circle preparing for our canter right and this again throwing head we had a comment from the judge i think again she's just anticipating that, that that canter transition is coming and actually she was better in that transition than she was on the left she didn't flick her head in the transition she just did on the first half of the circle unfortunately so scored us a six and a half we got a six and a half all the way down there i do feel this canter looks a little bit wild um maybe it probably felt more wild but i do think this rain doesn't look quite as established as the other rain um we scored another six and a half then we turn onto the diagonal down the center onto the center line which she did nicely that was a much nicer turn the diagonal was nice and finished again just has to have that step out but we did finish with a nice square halt for a seven and a half. Happy? Not <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey? Why not? Fidgety? A bit fidgety and anticipating cancer. Yeah. Thank you. Dressage complete. Quick trip back to the trailer to put on the boots. I've put in some studs on the martingale because i'm definitely going to need that and head off to our jumping we've got to jump before three o'clock and it's now half past two so i don't know what the course is she's obviously still warm so we can head on down we only need to jump a few jumps and then get in there and do our first round so this is part of our combined training the 80 um so that we were able to do a prelim test i am pleased 
with the test. She warmed up nicely, was listening, was trying. Um, we did have a couple of little argumentative moments within the test. I think she was anticipating the second canter. Maybe I cantered a bit too much in my warm up, but that's something that I can just note and take away. Um, I think I kept the, I think as well, because the warm up is like 20 by 40 and not wanting to condense down her canter that much. Maybe I just did a little bit too much in a tighter spot, which then she gets a little bit more wound up and a little bit more tense. Um, but overall, I thought her trot work was nice. Obviously I haven't watched it back, um, but from what I felt, it felt nice. And I felt like she was more supple and that was what I was aiming for. So I will take that. Now onto her more favorite phase. I'm not gonna say her favorite, but more more favourite but I think she might I don't know whether because we did eventing last weekend whether she's going to think that we're off cross country once we've done our show jumping I'm going to be like no we're just going in and do another show jumping round Addy cross country's tomorrow isn't it and I've just seen Danny. she's doing the same as us and doing like a two day event over the weekend as well so we'll see her at cross country tomorrow as well but yeah it is gorgeous in the sun but there is a fair bit of heat in it right let's get show jumping Well, Addy definitely gets an A for enthusiasm. She locked onto fence one and she very easily saw fence two was there as well. You can see we're just a little bit wild. I don't know whether because we're heading also back in the direction of like the lorry park or something, but I just tried to use this corner before fence three just to bring her back, try and settle her, but not fully kill the canter. We got a nice stride there through that dog leg. And then again, just using this this corner to try and rebalance before the next upright and to another dog leg. She got a nice stride there. Just need, I'm trying to let her go for the final three strides in front of the fence, but it just does mean that we get quite quick and a bit wild and a bit fast. We've then got the double, which was two uprights with two strides. And again, she could have just done with being a little bit maybe another little half halt but because this is combined training we now come around to the final fence it's a shorter course and we got a lovely clear so after a quick jump up in the warm-up again it was time to tackle our 90 round now this is a just a, a show jumping round and I'll be honest I feel that it is in two halves the first half I think is pretty good I do feel that she's at like almost a bit of a teenager year where she knows her job she enjoys it and she's like mum I don't need you I don't need you to tell me what to do I've, I've got this but she does need me. <laughs> I am again trying to just let her go and like not interfere in the final three strides, trying to get what I can in the corners and then when it's just before the fence is just leave her be. We are starting well as you can see, we're getting over the fences, our strides are pretty good, um, we're now just coming around and I don't think I quite balanced her enough, maybe my balance is a bit forward. I don't know, I was upright, but we did unfortunately have the first part of the double down. Then a left hand turn to the spread. And this is now after this fence where we get onto like the second half. And you can see there, I kind of, we got very long before that one. We cleared it, but just quite long. Um, she's now on to a different part of the course because we finished on that one in the 80. And I don't know whether I just, I did change the leg, but just 
wasn't quite concentrated on that fence there and unfortunately it did come down we're then turning right and she's here she's disunited we're not balanced and oh, i just fire at it which is awful and i it unfortunately comes down as well um and again i don't feel like i i haven't reacted in this and again she's gone and bless her getting over that second part but i yeah i will take the blame for the second half of that course no chatting in between because it was a quick turnaround there was a gap and they very kindly let me go in again and luke the course builder was a great help he said to go in there do two fences, bring her back to trot, give her a pat, almost reset, and then go and jump the next two. So that is exactly what I went in to do. And it just helped keep her adrenaline down, kept her more focused. We got a little bit close there, but I made sure that we balanced around. She did take a flyer there. So yeah, striding still isn't quite right. But again, in, after two fences, I brought her back just given her she's then gone spooky fied and that is i feel because her adrenaline is up so i've just given her a pat made a walk and then picked up the canter again before taking on the next two fences which we got a much nicer stride and over that one as well she jumped really really well again hitting that reset button giving her a pat saying it's all okay and this was really beneficial being able to go straight in again and to do this we're then coming into the double which we got a much better stride and the two strides in there didn't look quick or fast um she was much more on her hocks and balanced because of having that reset before and then we're coming to the final fence and after this i decided that she had come in done well um so i decided to leave it there flats out pony loaded dog loaded christopher loaded <laughs> Um, and I'm just whipping down, I forgot I had to get my dressage test sheet, so as you've seen, we ended up going in three times. <laughs> um, the 80 was good, just she came to fence one and two and was just like, woohoo, we're jumping, and like the last time that she jumped was on grass, cross country, so I can understand that, that was fair enough. Um, but the rest of the round I thought was pretty nice. Yes, albeit pretty fast. Then on to the 90, which was an extended course. And I felt like actually, yes, she was, I was trying my best just to ignore her, but she was just being super sensitive. Anything that I just wanted her just to come back just a little bit. And she was just like, I know what I'm doing. This is so much fun. Um, and I felt like the first half we were managing it, we were keeping it together. And then from fence seven, I think the double, it all just seemed to go a little bit to pot. And then when she went to like try and run with me, I was like, well, go on then, just go. And that was actually probably the worst thing I needed. And it's oh, hindsight, wonderful thing. And I've said it before, so annoyed at myself that I didn't, but actually just bring her back, hit the reset button, come back to trot, have a nice trot, then pick up canter again and go again. Um, like Luke said to me, is make the most of the space that you've got when you're outdoors. Okay, I'm trying to run. <laughs> um, Oh, I can't run up the hill and vlog. So we then went into the 90. Uh, first round, second half didn't go. All went a bit peep tong. Then they thankfully, very kindly, said if there was a gap that I was allowed to go in again. And Luke, the course builder, said to me to try and like jump a couple, bring it back, relax, trot, and then canter again. And that's exactly what we did, and it really helped. Um, crikey, you think I'm, I run? I was fit. Oh, hi, Addy. Whew. And I just think, yeah, just trying to keep things all calm and ignore her when she does do a flicky head. But it was good. I'm glad we went in for the third time. Um, it did work. So, yeah, and then we've just picked up our rosette. Look, it's our cross country colours. Very, very pretty pink. Oh, and they match my nails too. Um, and we got, we're very consistent in the dressage at the moment. We scored a 30.4. Last week we scored a 30.5. This week we scored a 30.4. So ever so slightly better. Um, lots of sevens. A few six and a half. One eight for our free walk on a long way, which was very good. I'm very pleased with that. Um, but yeah, overall a good day. A good training day, that's what I would like to say. Um, that's what we were coming out to do. And I feel like, yeah, we did it. So, right, let's get Addy home and then we are off for our 
first barbecue of the year. Although it's gone a bit cloudy, it's not quite so sunny. So actually, do you know what? I'm going to end this vlog now. There's no point me going home and then blabbing on for even longer because I feel like I already have now. So enjoy the short and sweet vlog, guys. I hope you have enjoyed coming along with us today. Please do like, comment, and of course, hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already. And until next time, which is only tomorrow when we are heading off for a hunter trial at Lower Tolkenbury, which, like I said, was uh, is a bit, I've only been there once basically. So, looking forward to tackling cross country tomorrow. So, make sure that your notifications are on so you will know when that vlog goes live. But until then, I'll see you there. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Are you not going to do your sign out? What sign out? Sign in. Sign in. <laughs> Chris has started a TikTok channel, TikTok account for his uh, electrical work. Sparrow Spark. It's really catchy because every video, or mostly every video, starts with. <whistles> Not quite like that, is it? No. <laughs> you can't do it either. But yeah, it's very good. Sparrow Spark. If you want to check him out and uh, learn about electrical, yeah, get some top tips. Don't mean a lot to me. Supporting you, you're doing well. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, random little end to the vlog. Bye!